One of the reasons why I'm highly unlikely to ever take the laws of logic as absolute um, is the fact that one can flout them or disregard them with impunity, um, with no consequences to yourself whatsoever, uh, in the same way that you can't, say, ignore the laws of physics. There will be consequences. Uh, if I just ignore, say, the laws of inertia or ballistics or whatever and stand in front of a speeding bus, I know what's going to happen. I can completely ignore, say, various rules of logic, and there's plenty of people who do this regularly. In fact, I can ignore the three cardinal rules. No consequences. <laughs> um, in fact, if I do adhere to them, a lot of people have pointed out rather cleverly how said rules will turn on me. I would say that's a pretty good argument in favor of not uh, taking logic as absolute. Um, it's not something up there in the ether. It's an idea that exists only in our own heads. So are the laws of physics, but the laws of physics actually have consequences if we disregard them. Logic can go smash and I can continue to live my life exactly the way I've always lived it. Um, some people want to change that. Some people think that there's a should in there to logic, that I should follow the rules of logic because it would be illogical for me to do otherwise, even if following those rules are detrimental to me. <laughs> Good luck.